Welcome back to another edition of TEC Tube. I am your host, Ryan Hoger, and today we're gonna to go through how to add your dealer logo to your Evolution, Infinity, or Ion controllers that your customers have. There's a couple reasons why you'd wanna do this. For one, we're not gonna just do the logo. We're gonna load your logo and your contact information. Then whenever there's any kind of alert or anything that pops up on their stat, saying it's time to change their filters, or they have a, a fault code or something like that, it'll say what the problem is, and then it'll say who to call. It'll have your logo and your phone number and your website on there. That's why I want to set this up and get everything configured correctly. And then as a bonus, once you get it set up correctly on these little SD cards, you'll be able to uh, link your customer's thermostat in with your contractor dealer portal on HVAC Partners. So the first thing you need to do is you need a little SD card. And you're going to need something on your computer to read it. My laptop has a micro SD card reader, so I'm good there. But if you don't, your laptop may have a regular reader. So I can get a micro SD card, slide it into the reader, and then put it into a regular SD slot. But you will need some way to read either a regular SD card or a micro SD card. The micro one is the one that we're gonna put into the thermostat. This laptop happens to have it, so I don't need the adapter. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right into the slot. And that guy's good to go. So let's go ahead and get started on this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys where it is that we can download the software tool that we need to set these cards up. So for the Bryant guys, if you just go to the usual, oops, bryant.com slash my home. You've been here before, brings up your Wi-Fi stats, your evolution stats. On this guy here, this is where I want to be for Bryant. And then for carrier, same thing, carrier.com slash my home. If I go to the login button on one of those, down at the bottom, before I even log in, you don't have to log in to do this. Before I even log in, go to downloads, click on that. And there's all kinds of stuff you can download. Software updates for the thermostat itself. You wanna put those on an SD card. What we're gonna go down here is to the upload application. And then either pick the Windows or the Mac version. I have Windows, so I'm gonna pick PC and I can download it by clicking here. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna do that in this case, uh, but I, if I didn't have it, I would download it there. Same thing with Bryant, go to the login, but don't actually log in, go to downloads, scroll down, upload application. Same thing with the Ion one. So now I have this tool already here on my computer, it's called export tool. So this is what it looks like when you open that software tool up. You can use it as a consumer to make a schedule, save it on an SD card, or micro SD card, and put it in your, st in your stat. You can use it to create screen savers as a consumer, or in our case, we're gonna to switch to dealer mode down here at the bottom. So now that I'm in dealer mode, I have two things that I can do, and I'm gonna do both of them today. Export my dealer information and export my logo. Let's do the logo one first. So export logo, click next. I should actually probably mention to you guys, this is telling you the file formats you need. You probably already have your logo as a JPEG or a TIFF or something like that. So it tells you the file format you need, and you're gonna save it to a micro SD card in a folder called dealer. So I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna go find my logo on my computer wherever I keep it at. Let's do the training one in this case. And I could say if I want it to be letterbox, zoom, or stretch style. Either way, whatever one you want. Say next, and then it tells you to save it on in a folder called dealer. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna go find my micro SD card, which I already put in. There he is. I already have a folder called dealer because I do this all the time, but if you didn't, you would have already created one on your card or you can right click over here and say new, new folder, and you can call it whatever you want. I'll call this one example. But in your case, you need to call it dealer. It has to be a folder called dealer, it has to be. Open up dealer and I can save my file in here. I've already done it, but I could save it again if I wanted to. And then hit save. All right. The other side of that, I'm not saving it in this case, is the dealer info. So if I click on export dealer information, I can manually enter my info. If I click on that, I type in all the information that I want, name, company, phone number, website, etc., email, or I could also search for a dealer. 60438, pick a dealer. I'm just gonna pick the first one, no offense to anybody else. And then I can make sure the info is the way I want it to be, or I can correct it if something's not right. If something's not right on here, 
Keep in mind, this is also what shows publicly on HVAC partners, or carrier.com, bryant.com, and those kind of sites. So if this is not right, you want to have this fixed. Uh, if you're a TEC customer, contact us and we'll help you get it fixed. Or anybody, contact your distributor, they'll help you get it fixed. If I can change stuff on here for the purposes of the card. Say next. Tells me I got to save it in a folder called dealer again, using that file format. So that's what I'll do. I'll say next. I'm already got my card in. Go to dealer. And now I could save this text file right here. I don't want to replace it in this case I already have one, so I'll just leave mine alone. I didn't save it. You would save it. Now what I'm going to do is eject that card. So on your computer, oh, you can't see it on mine in this case, but there's a little eject button on your uh, inputs. Eject T-Stat card, and now I can pull it out. And I can take that over to my thermostat, which we'll do right now. All right, now I'm gonna take that little tiny baby SD card. I'm gonna put him in the thermostat here. I already have this guy pulled up onto the uh, dealer settings. If you don't know how to get onto that, let us know, we'll help you. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down to where it says dealer contact information. Press that. And now I'm gonna put upload dealer information. It's gonna ask me for my little card, which I'm gonna put in the bottom here. I always forget which way it goes. Put it all the way until it clicks. Now it should pull the data out of my card. Do you want to go ahead and update the info? Yes, I do. So now it's going to pull out that logo and the contact information with the phone number and so forth. It says it's successful. I'm going to hit next. It's going to give me a sample of what it's going to show. So it's TEC training, like we said, TEC test dealer, and then the phone number on there. Obviously, in my case, like I said, it's a fake dealer, but it would be your dealership in this case. And then I'll press done. And then anytime there's a alert message that pops up, it'll say, hey, you have uh, igniter fault 34, contact, in this case, TEC training, or in your case, your actual company name, and they'll have your information and they'll know who to call. That same information will then also get pushed to any uh, email notifications and things like that that they have set up. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Like I said, this is the same process as you would do with the old school USB version on the older style, but now we're just doing it with an SD card.